Decided to get those beignets and why not? Uh, a little powdered sugar on some fried dough. You gotta love that, Joseph. I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure they had a hankering for that for some yeah. time now. I know I've had some cravings myself for a lot of locations here in Portland as well. Yeah. Okay, so we had a beautiful day. Um, a lot of sunshine this morning helped our temperatures warm up to about the lower to mid 70s. Very comfortable. Here comes the cloud coverage, so we'll have that filtered sunshine. Heading into the second part of our day, kind of wrapping up the evening hours. Some locations seeing more clouds than others. That goes for areas like the Oregon coast right now, which is a little more gray. Not much rain in the forecast, but the couple opportunities that we do have will likely be on our Memorial Day tomorrow and then possibly heading into next weekend. And sandwiched right in between that, we're going to probably see those temperatures warming up into the 80s, maybe in the mid 80s to upper 80s one day. All right, Mount Hood Meadows right now, beautiful. Some blue sky, thin cloud coverage there, 52 degrees. May even see some snowfall heading into next weekend with some colder air and our next disturbance. Probably not too much going on, though, as we uh, get into tomorrow. 74 degrees coming out of Portland right now. A lot of people outside enjoying some sunshine and nice day out there. Uh, as many people as we can get uh, uh, safely. 73 degrees coming out of Madras. We have 74 for Pendleton and then lower 60s coming out of the coast. Astoria uh, at 60 degrees right now. Compared to yesterday, it feels a lot warmer. We were only in the lower 60s yesterday. We had that Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, trio of days where we barely warmed up uh, in the 50s and 60s. And then notice that even off towards the east, it's warmer. So collectively, it looks like we've all seen some warmer temperatures for our Sunday. There's that uh, stream of moisture and it has its eyes pretty much to the northwest. So focusing on those locations in British Columbia and stretching down to areas of Washington. But it is going to sag just a little bit uh, and and we may tap into some of that as we go into tomorrow morning. I'll show you that on the future cast. Notice it's dry through the overnight hours. We'll pause it here around 830 and some rain up towards the Washington uh, coast, specifically in those southwest counties there, Cowlitz and Clark County. So I'd be prepared for maybe a little bit of rain. There's like Castle Rock, Longview, Kelso, everything kind of in between, Battleground. And then we may even see some showers stretching down to about Marion County there. Uh, really not much more south of Salem. So I wouldn't count on much rain for you folks there. And what we see around Portland, Beaverton, everything in between is probably going to be pretty light for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening, though, yeah, some isolated showers, uh, some thicker and heavier rain as far as intensity goes. Probably for you folks over towards Pendleton and maybe even Baker City, but I would call it mainly dry for most locations south of Washington tomorrow. Tuesday looks to be okay, partly cloudy, some sunshine here or there, and then we open up the door for some warmer weather Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Some air from the south is really going to start pushing in our direction, boosting our temperatures uh, significantly. Day planner for our Monday will start off in the 50s, maybe a chance for some showers to about midday, and then not so much for the evening hours. Uh, we'll call it mostly cloudy temperatures topping off about 68 degrees. The coast tomorrow, lower 60s, upper 50s, cloudy and a little damp for you folks there, especially up towards Astoria. Upper 60s to maybe the lower 70s in the valley. Some clear conditions off towards the east. Uh, yeah, maybe a sun break or two uh, compared to the rest of us west of the Cascades. 66 coming out of Hood River and lower 70s there for the Dalles and government camp mid 50s with some rain. OK, seven day forecast, as I mentioned, it does warm on up 84 degrees on Thursday. I think that's going to be the warmest day coming up and then Friday at 80. And then Wayne looks like we have a chance for some showers Saturday heading into Sunday back to about average in the lower 70s. Yeah, no doubt about it. The well, the weather here 